In the world of religious mysteries, few enigmas have stirred as much intrigue as the mention of the Prophet Muhammad. Peace be upon him in the ancient text of the Bible of Barnabas. Who was the Prophet the Prophet Muhammad in this scripture? Why did his name echo through these biblical verses? A riddle that has kept scholars at loggerheads for centuries, causing an uproar in beliefs and challenging preconceived notions. Today on Islamgram Official, we dare to step into this, we dare to step into this labyrinth of conflicting opinions and intense debates. We will dissect each verse that refers be upon him in the Bible of Barnabas. Prepare for an exploration into the uncharted territories of faith and interpretation. Brace yourselves as we are about to embark on a journey that will reshape your understanding. Our journey commences with chapter 97, in which it states, Jesus asserted and proclaimed the truth, I am not the Messiah. Here, the, the Messiah, Jesus, denies being the ultimate messenger, implying the arrival of another. This paves the way for potential existence of a subsequent prophet, a position fulfilled by Prophet Muhammad. Peace be upon him. Moving ahead, chapter 1. 162 introduces the phrase, Muhammad, peace be upon him, is his blessed name. Here, that the Prophet Muhammad's name, peace be upon him, is explicitly stated, establishing a direct connection between the Barnabas Bible and the Islamic faith. This verse unequivocally asserts that the blessed name of the future Prophet is Muhammad, peace be upon him, providing a clear prediction of his arrival. Similarly, chapter 217 declares, the messenger of God is named Muhammad, peace be upon him. The Bible, Barnabas once again confirms the prophecy of the impending prophet, explicitly referring to him as Muhammad, peace be upon him, the messenger of God. As we approach chapter 220, we find the verse. Jesus answered, the name of the Messiah is admirable. Some scholars interpret the name admirable to be a translation of the name Muhammad, peace be upon him. This interpretation further reinforces the presence of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, within the Bible of Barnabas. As we delve further into our exploration, let us pause to reflect on the profound implications of these verses. The acceptance of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, as the final messenger of God is not a notion exclusive to Islam. Rather, it finds its roots deeply embedded within Christianity as well. This is evident from the verses of the Bible Barnabas we have been discussing where Jesus himself makes way for the arrival of the last prophet. Hence, the truth of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, being the last messenger of God, has always been accepted by Christianity too. This mutual recognition and respect between the two faiths is a testament to the interconnectedness of these religions and a call for unity among their followers. As we continue our exploration, let's bear in mind this shared heritage and mutual respect. Upon meticulous exploration, each of these verses compellingly argues for the recognition of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, within the holy text of the Bible Barnabas. To summarize, we have traversed from chapter 97 to chapter 220 of the Bible. Barnabas with each verse subtly or decidedly illustrating the existence of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. From Jesus professing that he was not the final harbinger to the explicit mention of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the Bible. Barnabas carries a myriad of references to the Islamic faith. Faith, this exploration is not conclusive as interpretations of religious scriptures often diverge and different people may conclude differently. The essential aspect is to approach these scriptures with an open mind and respect for diverse faiths. Our exploration today of the Bible Bible Barnabas has underscored the acceptance and significance of Prophet Muhammad. Peace be upon him in Christianity, offering a fresh perspective on the mutual respect between Christianity and Islam. We hope this exploration has sparked curiosity and an urge to dive deeper into the captivating realm of religious scriptures. As always, the pursuit of knowledge is a commendable pursuit and may your journey be enlightening. We appreciate your company in this exploration. 
Until our paths cross again, keep questioning, keep exploring.